we actually started already in the year 2000 to understand that life cycle assessment is a key tool for sustainable consumption and production and to improve the environmental performance of products. Yeah, life cycle assessment is basically a method that tries to measure what is good for the environment and what not. La CV en fait, c'est surtout de la une grosse gestion de base de données puisque ça consiste à essayer d'obtenir les émissions polluantes euh, de, du système qu'on étudie, c'est-à-dire du véhicule sur toutes ses impacts de sa production jusqu'à son démantèlement et donc pendant sa phase d'utilisation sur le carburant ou l'électricité. Donc c'est un petit peu un travail de fourmi qui nous est facilité par des logiciels ou des bases de données déjà existantes et qui consiste à synthétiser toutes ces toutes ces émissions. Uh, et ensuite à les traduire en différents impacts environnementaux. It's not only CO2, you have, you have to, to, to look at uh, many, many other categories. Uh, the photochemical smog, it's, uh, another one is uh, the acid, acidification, yeah? the next one the eutification, uh, then we have ecotoxicity, then human toxicity, we have nuclear waste. We have, for example, also an international standard, ISO 14040, that is the agreement on common rules how this should be done. If you have a pencil or a pen or a, your mobile phone or an apple, if you do an LCA, you really learn where do these products come from, how are they produced and what is their impact on the environment and this is quite fascinating. We have to reduce the fuel consumption, therefore we reduce the weight of the vehicle. But on the other hand, we have to be very careful which materials we bring into the production. And generally, very often, lightweight materials increase CO2 emissions in the production. In the use phase, they decrease it. And so we look at the overall balance, that the overall balance sheet is in such a way that the overall balance looks at a decrease of CO2 emissions. La grosse différence entre le véhicule thermique et le véhicule électrique, c'est que le véhicule thermique, finalement, son impact ne change pas, quel que soit l'endroit où on va rouler, alors que le véhicule électrique, euh, suivant le pays où on va se déplacer ou si on souscrit à des offres d'électricité renouvelable, on va avoir un impact totalement différent. I think the usage of recycled material is one very crucial point, and what is here decisive is the quality of the recyclates. So what we need is really to increase in the end of life phase the quality of the materials we gain there to close the loop to bring these materials back to the vehicle. What also in the past of environmental policy and environmental improvement was done very often that you improved one area and 10 years later you found out that you just shifted the problems. Because sometimes the companies make such decisions and want to make something good. They want to do something good for the environment, but maybe they don't achieve it because they have not thought about the big picture. And LCA is there to get the big picture. Mm -hmm.